Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today I want to talk a bit about the class 313 and its current development issues. As we all know, the train has been on the roadmap for a very long time now. Actually for over a year, with it being on the roadmap since September 15th, 2020. Or even earlier, although I wasn't able to check earlier due to my browser not supporting the article. In this video, I'm going to be talking about my thoughts on the class 313 and how DTG can do better to avoid these types of issues where something is on the roadmap for an extended period. Before we get into the video, I'm going to ask all of you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And if you would like to support me even further, become a channel member with the link in the description below. Let's get into it. So we know that the train has been on the roadmap primarily in the in-production section for a long time now, and it's now starting to frustrate players who are excited for the DLC and to drive the train. DTG has expressed that the reason the 313 hasn't moved much on the roadmap was because it was put on the roadmap way too soon. It was rightfully put on the roadmap when it was confirmed that the train was being worked on. However, the project switched too quickly from in-planning to the in-production section. If I recall correctly, it was put into the in-production section when the Cathcart Circle Line route entered the roadmap, and the train wasn't really being worked on at that time. This caused a lot of players' hopes to shoot up, expecting the 313 to release close to the Cathcart Circle Line. And those hopes only went even higher when the train was placed into the upcoming section along with the Cathcart Circle Line. With the class 313 and the 314 from the Cathcart Circle Line being so similar to each other, a lot of people believed that they would release back to back. I was one of those people, with myself creating a What You Should Know video detailing the class 313 and what would be coming with the DLC. All of our hopes of the class 313 releasing soon were expelled though, with the train moving back to the end production section of the roadmap. DTG then announced TSW Rush Hour and that the class 313 would be released after Rush Hour. This was a major disappointment for many players, including myself, who were excited to play with the new train in the game. Rumors then started to come out that the 313 wasn't even really in production when it was placed into that section of the roadmap, and a lot of players started to lose trust in the roadmap, especially when they saw that more than 3 DLCs came out before the 313 even though the 313 was added to the roadmap before them. I myself was disappointed in DTG, but I also understood that a lot of work goes into creating the rolling stock, developing timetables, and more. Understandably, it would take a while for it to be created, especially when DTG has to revise the substitution system the game has to support a 3-car train, summing in for a 4-car train. While understanding all of this, I also share the opinion with a lot of other players that a lot of thought needs to go into what is revealed on the roadmap and when. DTG needs to make sure that the release time frame is accurate and that items are switching sections in the roadmap accurately. Otherwise, people will tend to have false expectations for when things will release and that leads to an unhappy community. Now on the most recent roadmap stream on Tuesday, it was said that the class 313 is now being worked on again, as the original team that was working on it has finished their work on the Brian Mainline DLC. Also, the train is now nearing the end of its development cycle, and it is now starting to enter the next phase where the QA team looks for bugs and things that are wrong with the train before release. Unironically, the class 313 did appear in one of the newest screenshots of the upcoming Brighton Mainline route on the Portsmouth platforms in Brighton, and you are able to see it here, behind the Class 09, stabled outside of the station. That was just a bit of what I wanted to talk about with the Class 313 and its development cycle, and how it has had an impact on the way the community portrays the roadmap and how the community feels like DTG is handling it. If you enjoyed the video and agreed with some of the things I said, like it, and subscribe to the channel for more content. Also, if you want to support me even further, consider becoming a channel member with the link in the description or by clicking the blue join button. Peace.